So, in the last video, I failed to mention that uh, I play this song, My Immortal, in another keynote uh, than the original song does. Uh, the original song is uh, written and played in uh, A major, uh, which sounds like this. All right? But I play it in D major, which sounds like this. And that's because uh, Emily is a female and she sings a lot higher than I, so uh, that's why I play it in a different tone. I could go lower, but it, sound, it doesn't sound really that good then, so I took the higher uh, option. So, the whole song will be in, uh, in this keynote for me. So, if you want to play it in its original song, uh, in its, with the original keynote, then you can uh, look down in the description below and I will put a link to a video where you can follow the original uh, uh, piano line for that, all right? It's not by me, it's not exactly the same video, but you'll probably manage to do. All right, okay, so uh, we are going to do the bridge today to the chorus. We, uh, the last time we did the intro slash verse and outro and I didn't sing with it because it's not really necessary it's not always with the voice in it but sometimes it does but in the bridge it is and it's not really that recognizable if you play it so we ended with F sharp but I told you in the first verse that we end on the C sharp and then go over to the bridge but that's only in the first uh, bridge. Then we go over to uh, this part and I'm first going to play it just with both hands normal speed. Then I'm going to sing with it and then we're going to break it down. So this is normal speed. And then we have the chorus after that. So I'm going to sing right now with it that you have an idea where in the song it really is. I'm going to end with the, um, with the intro uh, slash verse uh, riff. And it won't leave me alone These wounds won't seem to heal This pain is just too real There's just too much that time cannot then we have the chorus, of course, which is for the next video. But this is a little bit harder than the, oh, sorry. This is going to be a little bit harder than the last video. Uh, I'm going to try and do it separate hands. That's not going to be the case for every video because it's not always possible, actually. So we're going to start off with my right hand slow, then my left hand slow, and then we're going to try and combine them together, all right? so. Bear with me with the slow part here, it starts like this. Okay, so then we're going to go with my uh, left hand and like, like in the last video that I said, we are going to work with octaves, which will mean uh, my pinky on the, for this, for this example, on the D, the lower D, and then my thumb on the D, but the higher one, all right? And then my um, uh, pointing finger, uh, my index finger will be in, the, in between those. So we start off. On the, on the B's here, so lower B, higher B, and my um, index finger on the F sharp. So we're going to start off slowly.
and then we have the chorus all right so i know it's a little bit strange to hear this separately uh, because it's it's like something is missing and that's right the, the the both hands should be together to have the whole uh, package of course so let's play it together but slowly have the chorus so let's speed it up a little bit and it will become clearer uh, on where this part actually is Now we're going to play it at full speed, which is not that much faster, but it is. All right, good. So, and then we come to the chorus. Uh, so this part was not really that easy. Uh, it just uh, asked for a lot of practice to do so all right i think the best way is just to slow this down and uh, try to follow along with it all right you're not going to be able to play it just by watching and trying it like one time you have to do it multiple times and like pause the video to really uh, have a sense of how to play this part all right the next part we are going to do the chorus hopefully see you guys next time bye